Hey everyone, I'm Miles G170, and this is the Mario Maker Top 50. Next up, Moon River. We are going to play some Moon River. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. And I jumped too early. Patience. We are waiting for that Buzzy Beetle to come over here. And we are going to ride this Buzzy Beetle to the next stop. Wait for the fire. No reason to rush it. Unless you're world record hunting, you do not need to rush these levels. If you're in a race or something, yeah, go quick. But if you're just kind of playing, you don't have to rush. It's a good feeling. It really is. That was lucky. That was less. Less so. It's okay, though. Bum, bum. Now jump off the spring. And don't land on munchers, because we're pros and we don't land on munchers. Alright, so you see what's coming up here. We're going to have to ride the POWs while still dodging the fire. And then hopefully make that jump. Now, I could have tried to save that, but I wasn't quick enough to think of it. You could have landed and landed on top of the um, conveyor belt. You could have landed on the conveyor belt and tried to jump back up on the PAL. A lot of creators combat this by putting a, um, a little Kaizo block there so you can't jump there. Um, I don't know if this one has that or not. But a lot of times when you're supposed to like shell ride or something, that's what'll keep you from like landing on the platform and trying again. I, I was gonna say I don't plan on testing it, but if it comes up, I will test it. So this level, it's not super difficult. The big thing with this level is just figuring out how to dodge the fire and how to make these jumps like that. Because if you wait too long, that pad block will not be, you won't be able to stand on it anymore. You have to get off of it relatively quickly before you fall into the, um, into the green mess below. But if you do it too soon, you do what I did a second ago. If you follow your coins, like I always say, if you follow your coins, you normally will survive. So the coins are telling you when it's time to jump. I was just not paying attention. So like here, jump here, land here, jump here, land here. Woo! Fire's hot! Okay. So this is important to hit these on off switches at the right time because it changes the trajectory of the track. And out of here. Another level down. Let's keep it going. Whew. Level 45. The Piranha Plant Infested Mansion by Nintendog. Nintendog was a fun game. I remember Nintendog. Lots of piranha plants in this mansion. You'd almost say they're infested. I can't believe I just died to that because I was making a, uh, I was making a bad joke. <laughs> I 
All right, so this one you have to pay attention. You're on a blue platform. Oh, I wanted that 50 coin. You have to pay attention when you're on those because it's uh, going to help you figure out where you can go. Because you have to go left to right on these things like that. Sorry, I get distracted because I'm trying to win! Woo! Another one. Now this is interesting. That's a very precise jump right there. And more of them coming up. I knew I was going to mess that up, and I'll explain what to do when we get back. Um, walking off there is the right choice. Jumping into piranha plants is not the pro play. Pro tip, don't jump into piranha plants. Especially in a piranha plant infested mansion. So the play here. We ride that blue platform a little bit until we can walk off safely like that because we need to use it again. If you try to jump there, you're going to bonk your head. That section, you have to keep your momentum. So we mess that up too. But it's okay. Because it's just a game. So from here, we need to start picking up momentum right here. So jump, 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 jump. So the reason the momentum was so important was we never would have made it through that section if we were doing basic jumps. But because we had the momentum, we were able to keep pushing forward. A lot can be said about momentum in life. Let's go.